statement declaring there is no factual basis for President Donald Trump's national emergency at the southern border. The group is made up of 58 former senior national security officials and includes former secretaries of state Madeleine Albright and John Kerry, former defense secretary Chuck Hagel, former State Department counselor Elliot Cohen, and former ambassador to the U. N. Thomas Pickering. They are set to release the statement a day before the House of Representatives is expected to vote on a bill that would block Trump's declaration. Under no plausible assessment of the evidence, is there a national emergency today that entitles the president to tap into funds appropriated for other purposes to build a wall at the southern border, they told the Washington Post. They pointed out that illegal border crossings are at a near 40-year low, citing statistics from the Department of Homeland Security. The group also says that the overwhelming majority of opioids that cross the border are brought in through legal ports of entry. They will reportedly argue that the declaration will undermine U.S. national security and foreign policy interests. And, they assert, a wall is unnecessary to support the use of the armed forces, as the administration has said.